Hey guys, Brendan Little here, and um, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be talking about the best thumbnail software and an alternative to have if you don't want to get in trouble with Photoshop, getting Photoshop illegally. Not only that, you are on a budget starting off of YouTube. Personally, the best al best Photoshop alternative for thumbnails, I think it has to go to paint.net now the reason why I think paint.net is the best alternative alternative thumbnails is that it is free doesn't cost any money or or dime it's also f simple to use not only that it has good plugins it has it has w automatic updates the community its community for paint.net's community is active and friendly it's also and you can get it and you can ask for help at any time and and there's tutorials on YouTube that you can show you guys on how to how to make thumbnails like like you usually see on my videos or heck even Mr. Every Studios videos or any anywhere else anyone else's yeah it also has an unlimited history what I mean what do you mean by unlimited history is that is that you can undo and redo anything and it already does that for you it already does that for you and it has a if you don't if you want this thing and you and you didn't want it you can pre there's a little window on the right corner the right hand corner it shows not right somewhere in the right hand corner and it shows these like arrows and these like things that you have like text and all and you add new layers you can always you can press the back arrow or the or something or any of that. It also has less storage problems compared to Photoshop, which is the constant, uh, which is constantly pretty annoying to to have, which is which is a huge problem. And if you have a good, if you have Photoshop, good luck. Well, I don't have a good Photoshop to, or, and it has. It has less storage problems from what I've heard of in Photoshop, and also that that I also heard of other thumbnail software is, is called, which I heard is called GIMP. It's also I think I've used it. I used it one time, a couple, few times. It's actually pretty. It's also it's a pretty good thumbnail software to to have and it's used. It's also pretty simple and it's also free to use. Also. The only thing about it, the only the thing about it is that it's also not for professional use, or it's not even a level of a near the level of Photoshop advancement. Also, and the same goes for for Paint.net. It's that's the only problem with with it with Paint.net, which is it is nowhere near the level near. Well, not nowhere, but it's near, near about it. Don't get too, don't get disappointed. Don't, just don't be disappointed about it. It helps a lot. It's, it helps the, it's pretty, it's a pretty good software to use. Overall, overall, if I had to rate Paint.net, if I had to, in a, in, in, and I, it's my honest opinion about it. I would have to rate it with 8.5 out of 10. Now, why 0.5 out of 10 you might ask it's because of its free use primarily if it's free use and primarily if it's free use and simplicity community and but it's nowhere near the level i think it's the best software to have have and also an alternative if you don't have if you don't have photoshop and you don't want to get in trouble getting it without paying for it so so if this made any sense at all and it helped you make sure to quick scope that like button drop a comment you want to see next and subscribe for the content i remember bringing you goodbye